Hello, this is Victory Heat Rally, which is a uh, demo. You see that says Xmas Sage Demo. This was a demo that came out uh, in the Christmas 2023 uh, Sage... Uh, what is that? That's like Sonic Game Expo or Sonic... I, I don't know. Anyway, if you search for a Sage demo for Victory Heat Rally, you'll find it. Um, there is There are demos on Steam and Itch, but they are... They're they're from like 2022 or something, um, and I think maybe this uh, maybe this one on Sage just added snow effects in a snow stage. I'm not sure. Um, uh, there were people on both of on both Steam and Itch who were saying that the dev like has the project been abandoned, but then people said, well, they're still on Twitter and post stuff. So I don't know. The uh, if you Google, so wait, so. Uh, Shoot, the developers... Like, I have trouble remembering the name of this game, Victory Heat Rally. That just doesn't work in my head very well for some reason. And also, the game... Let's see, the developer's name is not one that my brain wants to remember. It's Sky Devil Palm. And if you Google Sky Devil Palm, that's all one word, no space. Google their, uh, their website, which seems to be a little out of date. Um you can see that they're basically a, a pixel artist and they started commercially in um, in mobile games. They do have one other game on Steam, which is Quest Master, uh, although that's not out, but there's a demo of that one too. It's kind of, it looks like a Zelda-like. I don't know, I didn't try it. Um, so if, if they are a pixel artist, it might explain why they could have hit a, a slowdown in development because in that case they might need programming and audio help and stuff. And like the audio in this demo is pretty rough. Um, wait, what is ranking? I didn't even look at this yet. Okay, it's just like locals. Okay. But I mean like graphically this game is amazing. Or the demo is amazing. Uh, you can set controls. Right now the controls, I think, only support, like, um, Xbox controller or something. So, I'm using a, uh, a DualShock 4, so I'm, I set the game as a non-Steam game in, in Steam. And so then Steam converts the, the controls of my DualShock into, to being Xbox control, basically, and then it works fine. Uh, so that's how I'm doing the controls. Um, also, I'll put this in the description under the video on YouTube, but, like, it's really easy to, if you screw up, if you, like, do auto-config, it'll run you through all the controls, and if you're just hitting, like, escape or down arrow or get me out of here, it'll reprogram all the controls. I managed to reprogram all the controls. Like, if you don't have a working controller here, actually, you can't get out of this menu because you have to hit the whatever Xbox back button it wants to get out of this menu but then if you accidentally then reprogram all the controls trying to get out of this menu then your controls are hosed and you can't even like run the game i mean you get to the main menu and then you can't even start the menu up anymore and then you have to go into uh you know into your windows user folder and find where it it actually saves out a the control file and like delete it and then it'll 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 make a new one. Um, I'll, I'll link to the... Well, I'll put it in the description of where that control file is in case you need to go nuke it, but I found a, an old post on the Steam forum where somebody else supplied that helpful information. The audio, as I was saying, the audio needs help. The, it, the balance is all screwed up. Some effects are super loud. Uh, the car sounds are super quiet. Um, so the balance is pretty, pretty out of whack. Uh, video's good, though. <laughs> Pixel scale, you can see that it turns everything chunky. Oh, I just screwed up. Uh... Alright, well, let's just go then. I don't really like this overlay here. I think that's really gruesome. Don't do gray scan lines. So yeah, I don't like the pixel scale option. That's just obviously not... It just makes it hard to see, so let's not do that. 
Uh, I didn't mess with camera. I, I, you can turn off camera shake, so that might be handy. There's camera shake and uh, controller shake vibration, and I, I don't know. It's not horrible, I guess. Um, we're here in Lavendel Forest. So, oh wait, there's. Uh, where is that option? Is it not? Oh, maybe it's not in the pause menu. Okay, wait. There's one very key option. Because this game was killing my wrist. For some my nabby, pamby, wimpy boy wrist. There's the, there's the developer's name for one second. I don't really like how that OK thing pops up. You have to wait for this gigantic OK to confirm that you push the button. Oh, MISC! So you can't access MISC in from the pause menu. Which would have been nice because Auto Excel is defaults to off, but when you turn it on it means you don't have to hold the gas all the time. Because uh, this is a super arcadey, if you could... That's being generous, maybe, but... The, the game is just ridiculous, and you're basically just holding gas all the time. I never use the brake button. Um, there's a drift button, so I basically I use... I hold the gas and then use the drift button once in a while. Um, but if you turn XL on, you don't have to hold the gas button anymore. I mean, every racing game should have this option, as far as I'm concerned, because that is an ergonomic problem with racing games, if you ask me. I mean, that's why I wasn't playing racing games for a while. Because I, I didn't want to have to hold a button. And I'm trying to find ways I can hold buttons without killing my wrist or whatever, but uh, Excel on or Auto Excel will do it, so I like that mini map. The mini map, I'm not sure, is even functional. Well, it's a little weird. Oh, yeah, here's where you can turn vibration off, but I don't know, I'll leave it. It's not bothering me too bad. Okay, so this is on the easiest difficulty. It's funny, I guess there's no multiplayer option. I'm using a DirectX 4, I'm just steering with... You can use... Well, this is running through Steam input, so you can use the D-pad or analog stick. So here I'm using Drift. That's where you get that weird green... ...under the vehicle. I just nuked somebody. But see, like, the collision sounds are terrible. You even start to hear... Like, the explosion sounds are way too loud. You start to hear audio popping, like there's these weird popping sounds, like some kind of channel is an initiali init init initializing, right? So the audio's... oh, the audio's got problems. Graphics are superb, though. I mean, heck, look at these colors. It's just like candy. I just want to melt these in my mouth. So the, the drifting mechanic is a little weird. You but it's where you get your acceleration. So if you do a drift without hitting the wall... See, I, I kind of nudged the wall there, I think. But if you do a drift around a corner and you don't hit a wall, you get a speed boost. Okay, see that pop? If You, you can be, like, slightly outside the, the wall on a turn and it'll just pop you back inside, which is handy. It's not realistic at all, but it's, you know... I'm not going to say don't do that. It is... I mean, the steering isn't... I guess once you get used to it, it, it takes a little getting used to the drift. Man, that, that auto excel thing is sure helps a lot. I don't know why I have to enter my name. Like, it should just... I don't know. It should just know my name from something and just keep it. Or at least just have me enter it at the start. And then... Look at these colors, though. And, like, this water is... It's like cotton candy. It's like if you turn cotton candy into... Wait, no. It's like the water equi equivalent of cotton candy? I don't know. These colors are fantastic. Oh, shoot. The, the sounds are so messed up. Ugh. I should probably just turn the sound effect meter all the way down. Ugh. It 
Dang it. Oh. Like you, so you absolutely have to drift, or else you just won't get any speed. So you need the, the speed boost. Oh, killed. Oh, wow, then they just respawn right there, but they're going slow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to blow up. Oh, I didn't blow up. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you're out of bounds for too long, and maybe just on a turn, you'll, uh, you'll explode. Just, I love it. Just, I have a feeling that they just grabbed a bunch of sounds from, like, public domain sources or something. Uh, and didn't didn't balance them. <laughs> I don't know, it's bad. Three. Like you can see why they would have put this demo on a, a Sonic fans a Sonic fan game compilation, because it's very you know, 90s Sega colors. Although I don't think I actually spotted it there. I did look I was looking at the Sage 2023 a bit, but I think I just I think you think it's all YouTube's algorithm just showed it to me. Probably because I've been looking at uh, outrun videos. This music's pretty sweet too. Music's really sweet. Ah. I love the smoke effect. The dust effect or whatever it is. These little super deformed cars. Look at my big old fat wheels. Oh, kill. Man, I'm just a walking engine of destruction. Okay. Oh, that sucked. Oh no. Oh no, they killed me. I don't really understand the rank out thing. Like, is there a timer I'm just not even paying attention to? No, there's a timer going up, but not a timer going down, so I don't know why... It's not obvious when you're gonna rank out, as it calls it. So that's kind of a problem with the demo. You don't really know what you're up against. Music's so good. Stop being this good, music. I wonder if it's the same person who does the art. I, I kind of think probably not. Maybe I should look... Maybe there's more information on this Sage... Uh, 2023 page. Still a little loose on these drifts. Gotta cut it tighter. Oh, too tight. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah! Big old boost. Oh, too big. Ah, nuts. Oh, man. So I guess it's just that rank 4 isn't good enough. 
That's why it's calling it rank out, because I'm rank four and I have to be in the top three, maybe. Hmm. Also, I've seen a screenshot of a character select screen and it shows this Lana portrait over there, so maybe that's me, but I didn't go through a character select. So maybe that was in earlier demos and it they just took it out of this one. Actually, maybe there isn't a... Have I raced in a snow stage, or is it just the snow on in the, uh... The title screen, more or less. Maybe that... Maybe they felt they had to put something new in it for the... To make it a 2023 game for this age 2023 compilation, so they just stuck a snow effect on the title. I haven't looked at the... I haven't actually run the uh, Steam and Itch demos. The steering's actually pretty good once you get the hang of... Uh, I'm still not quite on it. But it's definitely got a decent feel. Hey, I got first! Alright! See, you hear that audio popping? Like, it's just... Ugh. Oh, here's a snow landscape. I made it. It's the last one. I hope it's not slippy slidey. Wait a second, the first stage is snowy. That's right. God. I have a horrible memory. I'm not sure I really like the look of these trees. Or these telephone poles. This is the grimmest stage so far. Oh wow, I'm really glad I didn't hit that pole and just clipped through it. Because that was looking bad. Oh. Shoot. Oh wait, there's no map on this stage. But like, the, the map on earlier stages, or the mini map, like, shows two arrows, but I don't know who... Like, maybe one's you, but what's the other arrow? Because all these other cars just seem to be sort of... randomly generated. Like, they'll just keep appearing. I don't know, maybe they aren't. Oh, now we got Sega Rally-style calls. Is this a rally stage? Shoot! <laughs> I wonder if this is a rally stage. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, wow. Uh, this probably is a rally stage. It's looking like one. This is pertinent to my interest because I actually just... I have... Well... I have three Sega Rally games coming to me. <laughs> Knock on wood. eBay. Second. Yeah, that was a rally stage. Wow. Wow, that's nice pixel art. Big green eyes. I'm green eyed myself. I don't have a sweet outfit like that. Uh, winter loop, ancient arena, concrete jungle, snowbound landscape. Wait, that's only four? Democked? What's democked? Is that my car? Democked Mark IV R. Maybe I should take a look at the itch demo. Maybe it's got more stuff in it. Actually, it. I don't know, because file size-wise, like, this demo, the, the downloaded zip that I downloaded was 133 megabytes, and the, the itch one that I downloaded was, like, 115. So it probably, probably doesn't have more stuff.
Number one, yeah! Oh man, I only got... I only missed first in the last race, oh well. So I guess that's it. Thanks, Sky Devil Bomb. Well, that's a... Pretty sweet demo. I guess that's all we got. Well, that's all I got then. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope they... Yeah, obviously they're they're hoping to make this a commercial game. They've got it as a coming attraction on Steam, and they've got a demo on Steam, although it's a little more out of date. Uh, so they aren't they aren't posting actively on Steam, which is a little strange. But maybe they just don't. They just prefer to stick to their Twitter or whatnot. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope they making this game because I would I would like more of that and I want I want every racing game to uh oh no oh no I'm in the bad screen um I don't want every racing game to have a control setup like that I want every racing game to have an auto excel on uh auto excel option at least if you're as arcadey as this obviously some actual you know like more semi racing games you actually do need to take your foot off the gas once in a while and just coast a bit but uh in this game that seems like the way to go and i'm not killing my wrist now when i play it so that's good you know obviously there's a lot of work to be done from the point of at which this demo was made uh but who knows who knows if this is just the 2022 stuff with this some snow stuff. I, I don't know. I shouldn't talk. I mean, if I wasn't going to be lazy, I'd go try out those uh, older itch and, and um, Steam demos, but I'm not going to do that. I got too many other games to look at right now. Welcome to Victory Heat Rally. Victory Heat Rally. I, I, I find that name so hard to remember, but anyway, Victory Heat Rally. Check it out if you like super amazing looking crazy arcade style uh racing games and it's got a rally stage at the end that was sweet um all right so that's it for this uh hopefully they'll have an update at some point um yeah see you later